Hey guys, Thomas Kanemoto here with the Bass Hookup. And uh, hey, we just finished up a day of fishing out here on the California Delta. Um, was out here with my dad, um, but I just wanted to do a quick little uh, intro to this video. Uh, my brother just finished, finished up a two part series so far on a breakdown of the California Delta. So I just wanted to put what he was saying to practice out here. Um, I think we did pretty well it was it was a little bit tough as you can see my glasses are all wet it's windy out here today I think there's a big high pressure system um, coming through today so it kind of messed those fish up a little bit but we caught we caught a good number of fish so uh, yeah follow us along and see what we did all right guys here we are first stop of the day pulled up on this island right here and this is just what um, we were talking about so you got a big tule berm island and we're not fishing the main berm we're not fishing up there it's deep enough up there there's probably two feet of water up there but we're we're really focusing on these outer sparse tulies all off of this side and this is the shallow side of this island so you see these tulies all come out i mean sometimes up to 50 feet off the main tule berm and that's where we're going to focus on i'm going to throw this uh bds mad crawl crankbait around and probably a spinnerbait maybe a swim jig and see if we can't pick one up. Stripers keep busting. All right, guys, so we just fished down that whole bank. No bites, but you can't get discouraged. Just keep going, because somewhere in the delta, on spot like that, there's going to be a group of fish. So we're going to move on. We're just going to go to the next island, do the same thing, and keep rolling. All right, guys, so we just switched over the other uh, island over here, and it's really calm on this side, and we have overcast skies. It was warm last night, so you can't discount a wake bait, a big wake bait um, early in the spring, even the when the water's around 54 degrees or so. We're gonna try this out, give it a little while, and then uh, once we hit the wind, we'll switch back over to Spinnerbait or Senko. All right, put this guy away and pick up a seven inch Senko. The big guy. Good weeds. They're all clean hydrilla weeds over here. It's more the breeze. All right, gonna put the Sanko away, pick up a spinner bait. We're talking about right there. Big gold blades, white and chartreuse when the low light, um, with the low light right now, might switch it up if the sun comes out to a shad pattern, but let's give it a go. There we go guys, first one of the day. See if it tells us a sign, seven inch Senko. Pick that Senko back up. Came right from these sparse toolies. You'll see, there's the main island. Toolies way out here. 
He ate that seven inch Sanko. Look how fat he is. Man, they're pretty right now. All right, that's number one. Yeah. Got him? There's one. It's a small one. Yeah. But, another fish. Nice. Well, it's not that small. There you go. Dad's on the board. Senko, five inch. Nice. Just fishing the mouth of one of these flooded islands. Nice. Trying to figure out what the weeds look like. Ooh, got him. Back of the boat. Oh, male. Right up on the. There you go. Another one. Looks like the males have moved up against the against the island there. Number two for my dad. Oh, we got one. Yeah, saw him eat it. Yeah. A little bit better one there, guys. Here we go. Look at that. Hey, now. Got ourselves a nice one there. Check it out. Nice one. Nice bass. Awesome. They're on the Senko pattern today. All right. Let's get another. Sink it all. Oh, another one. Oh, little guy. Yeah, there are a lot of males that moved up. They're not tiny though, at least. <laughs> oh, he's peeing. It's a good sign. Nice. down that whole stretch with reaction switch over to Senko again all right guys I'm gonna offer you guys a little tip right here so when you're flipping a when you're flipping a Senko no matter what size it is on the Delta when you come up to a clump like this if you know the tide is going out which right now that means it's going from right to left if you're flipping a clump I'm not gonna flip right on the clump because all that's gonna do, it's gonna take, the current's gonna take my Senko and just hit it up against those toolies. So the fish that's on the edge of those toolies, my Senko might get caught in those to, in those toolies, you know, 90% of the time. So what I'll do is if I know the current's running right to left, I'm gonna flip my Senko about a foot and a half off those toolies or two feet and let it and let the current pull it right to the base of that toolie clump you have a much better chance of that fish seeing your bait if it's coming into that clump than if you flip it right on the clump, you're just gonna get stuck in the clump every time. So that's a little quick tip for you guys. Yeah. 
Nice. All right. Another decent one there. All right. Here we go. Another chunk. Man. Fish want the Senko today. This little fish on those sparse tule clumps. There we go. You see, here's a perfect example. Example, my dad just flipped up on the main tule berm and he's catching a lot of these, a little bit smaller fish on the main berm. And those bigger females, what happens is those males move up first on the main berm. Those females, as they come up, they stage on these tule clumps, these isolated tule clumps out away from the main berm. And that's why all those, you'll, you'll get your better bites on the outside. Yeah, swim all the way out here. Right where he's right where he's supposed to be. <laughs> Perfect little cove for him. Oh, oh, fish on. Oh, good one. He's got a good one here. I saw him. It's a good one. Not that big, but he's a good one. Huh? No. Get him in here. That's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> right on the point of this tule berm and these first tulies. Boom. That's a four four plus. Man, they're so thick. Golly, look at that. In the wind. Nice bass. All right. All right. Put on the jig. Got to try this out for a little while. Fun to get him on the jig. Ooh. Got him. Got him on the crankbait. Got him on the red crankbait. Little male. There we go. Oh, that's it, guys. Uh, Tough day fishing out there today. We tried throwing reaction. We threw it quite a bit, but we could not get one to go. I think my dad got one fish on a red crankbait. Other than that, it, we had to flip, slow down, still working those sparse tule clumps out away from the main uh, tule berms, and flip the seven inch Senko. I got him on that. My dad was flipping that five inch Senko all day long. I'll put all the gear in the description, um, but it was tough. 
it makes me want to come back out here and figure them out figure them out a little bit more but uh yeah i had a good time um please if you haven't please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time